Um, my eyes are up here. <laughs> it's time to make this pluck. What is going on, Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. Now, first things first, Oscillator A, we're gonna be rocking a Basic Shapes waveform, of course, but, or I should say wavetable, um, and we're gonna go all the way until we find this waveform right here, which is number six on the wavetail position. And here, as you can see, it's literally just a square waveform that appears to be bended over quite a bit. So immediately, we're gonna take a lesson. And it sounds like a Super Mario kind of sound. And it's basically just like a pulse with modulated square waveform here. Um, so anyways, we're just gonna be centering this just a tad bit more, um, kind of similar to this location, but not quite. So we're just gonna go ahead and move this inwards just a little bit just to make give it a little bit deeper of a sound. And now oscillator B we're also gonna turn on, and that's going to be basic waveforms as well, or basic shapes, as you should say, and it's gonna be a sine waveform, so we don't have to touch it. Just turn up the octave one. Perfect. Now, it's a little bit too harsh, especially for the sound that we're going for, so go ahead and turn up the unison up three on both oscillator A and oscillator B. These three voices are really gonna soften up the sound and give it a little bit more stereo width. Detune's gonna go down here. And Detune's also gonna go down, but not as much as oscillator A. This is gonna be more like uh, to harmonize with this sound, this is gonna be our main sound here. Sine waveforms aren't super prominent. This is a lot more harsh. So this is just to kind of change up the tone a tad bit. Now onto the filter, we're gonna turn on our low pass filter and we're only gonna have it turned on for oscillator A. So we don't need to touch that. And now just go ahead and turn up the cutoff a tad. And boom, we can start to hear where we're going with this sound. Now into the effects section, we're immediately gonna go ahead and turn on our compressor, turn on multiband. And I said immediately because we gotta go. Just turn it on right now, immediately. Okay, and now uh, just go ahead and turn up the gain a little bit because it's pretty quiet. <laughs> hyper dimension is going to go on now and just go ahead and move the mix on the hyper down because we don't really need that. The dimension is gonna give us a little bit more stereo width. So, you know, we need to have low size and high mix, of course. And finally, we're gonna put on a reverb here. All right, we can mess with the settings. Um, turn down the high cut. We want it to be on the high end and cut out a little bit of the low end. Turn up the mix a tad. Okay, and now finally, we want to cut out the low end using our EQ. So just go ahead and turn down that Q factor, smooth it out. Frequency will go up to around, just on around 400 hertz. Finally, as usual, we can finish off the sound and make it sound a little bit more beautiful with an expert OTT compressor. And that is how I recreated the Panda Eyes Super Panda, I think, 94, I think it's called, <laughs> um, Pluck here, and it's really cool. Shout out to Panda Eyes for making some dope tracks here because I dig his music. I think he's really cool. Anyways, guys, if you like this video and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and don't leave it hanging. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and smash the like button. Don't just, don't click it. Like, I need you to actually take your fist. No, all right, we're done here. <laughs> go. Anyways, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.